fighter. How about calling it a day? Come on, champ. Another half hour yet. We're not tired. Yeah. Can you spare it, skillet head? Sure. Champ, put your back into it. You gotta get yourself in a shape. Hey, wait a minute. Slug, don't hit him. What are you trying to do? Hit me with your kindling wood. No, I can't watch the chip. Well, watch this. Come on, Oliver, Slug. You know who this guy is? Never. Why, seen. Slug Cassidy, ex-champion of the world. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Huh? Uh, come on, Slug. That's no place for a champion to be. Speak to me. That's right. Did a tree fall on me? No. Just a limb. Let me up. I'm all right. I'm a man in the ring today that can do that to me. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean Sorry. To... Forget it. Huh. My comeback days are over. Here's the next champ. It's a natural. Right. Say, Mug, we'll make you the greatest fighter in the game. Well, you can make more money in one night than you can in a whole year playing nursemaid for a bunch of pine logs. He'll slaughter him as fast as he climb through the ropes. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to slaughter anybody. Oh, not really slaughter. You know, knock him out, like you did me a while ago. Yeah. We've got to get a name for him for publicity. Let's see, uh, the Timber Racks. Oh, it's too long. Wait a minute. I got it. The Chopper. How's this for our build-up? Chopper Donovan, the man that everybody hates. That's the slogan. I'm glad I thought of it. Besides money. Say, you're getting more publicity than that fan dancer. Here, look at this one. <laughs> the one about the blonde beast. That's my own. I gave it to the slager from the hell. <laughs> Some dumb job, boy. Hey, Chopper, where are you going? Somewhere where no one knows who I am. Not just now, you're not. Slug's coming up here with those newspaper guys. You've got an interview. Here. I've got, I've got it all written down, what you're supposed to say. All right. You say it. Well, well, It'd be more important if you say it. Well, well, I don't know whether it would or not.
Well, what's the matter, old fella? Trying to fill up in a vapor lunch? It can't be done. You wait right here. We'll see what we can do about it. You guys will have to take what Spider gives you. This mug gentleman is as tough as nails. When he ain't in the rain, he's off by himself somewhere. What's his next bout? Who's he gonna fight? I don't know. After what he done to Gorman, it's gonna be hard to get him matched with anybody outside of top notchers. And believe me, gents, he'll take them off. This Donovan is human dynamite. He hates everybody, like everybody hates him. Say, Sam, those swell socks. Never mind the socks, son. We got a story, kid. Just a minute, sister. Oh, uh, how do you do, Mr. Brent? Here, maybe you'll need this as a souvenir. But, but Mr. Brunt, business has been terrible. Perhaps next week I can pay. Yeah, that's what you said last week. But that's the best I can promise. I'll tell you what you can do. A good looker like you don't need to pay rent around this town. Suppose we go somewhere and have a little drink and uh, talk it over. What do you say? That's what I say. Why, you little... I wouldn't finish that speech if I were you. Afraid of you? I guess you thought I was a cop. And are you? No, I'm just a lumberjack, Miss Conrad. How do you know my name? Well, if you keep carrying that sign around with you, everyone will know. you're a lumberjack. Oh, I don't know. I, I guess some of these fighters are pretty good fellows when you get to know them. I expect they are, but I'm not going to know any of them. Well, let's talk about your dad. Maybe I could help out. You? Well, how? Oh, 
Then you don't think that would work? Well, I'm afraid not. Then let's fix it this way. You introduce me to your dad, and if he agrees, I take the two of you to your trip west. But I don't think we could that. Oh, sure you could. Well, if you can't pay me back, you've got to marry me. Marry you? <laughs> Why, I've only known you a day. That's funny, because I've known you all my life. That's the way it stands, Slug. I've got to convince you that all fighters aren't killers. All I want you to do is to lay off this killer publicity. If she saw a story like that, I'd never have a chance. Another good fighter gone wrong. Listen, Chopper, I knew her old man. He was a second rater, and the daughter is probably... Your... Pipe down, Spider. Don't worry, Chopper. This girl really means a lot to you, huh? More than the championship. All right. We'll keep you out of the paper. Well, you... Quiet. When are you going to see her? Tomorrow. Thanks, Slug. She's a swell girl. And as soon as she gets to see things from our side... Sure, I know. Run along. See that you don't break training. Not a chance. See you tomorrow, fellas. Listen, if Chopper ties up with this Conrad girl, he'll be wearing an orchid in his belt the next time he climbs through the rope. Are you plumb crazy? Sure. Crazy like a fox. Wear them shares. Get her address. I know her address. Her dad lives in two before bungalow in the sticks. Put a special delivery on it so she gets this before he arrives tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Not very much. Sarah Jensen caught the flu in Peoria. And Dick Bozeman is touring in California. He says that sunshine talk is a lot of hooey. <laughs> it's been raining there for three days. Anything from me, Mr. Nesbitt? Oh, yes, yeah, a special delivery. Don't know who it's from. Has no return address on it. Maybe I can find out if I open it. Perhaps so. Oh, thanks, Mr. Nesbitt. Good morning. Good morning. Don't take them all, huh? Let me help. I'm sorry, Mr. Donovan, but I don't think my father is well enough to see anyone today. Hey, what's wrong? Everything's wrong, Chopper Donovan. Who told you that? Does it matter? The important thing is that you didn't tell me. I intended to tell you today. You told me you were a lumberjack. One of those fine, breezy fellows with the scent of the pines in his hair. I am. I was. I, I mean, I... Hey, you've got to listen to me. I am listening. I wanted you to know that I'm not the sort of a person the newspapers make me out to be. I hope to convince you that a prize fighter can be clean and decent and honest. But now that I know how you feel, I'll quit the game if you say so. Quit? Of course you'll quit. When some bigger, stronger, more ruthless brute beats you down, that's when you'll quit. Don't I know? Kate. Wait. Oh, 
Well, what the deuce? Chopper with a colored boy. Yeah, I saw that. I'm knocking out an interview for Donovan. Listen to this head, it's a honey. Chopper Donovan says that he'll make the brown bomber look like a mess of hot chocolate fudge. <laughs> oh, that's swell, Spider. I can give you a better one. My girlfriend is with me. I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, oh, but what a story the Spider can make of it. Tough for Donovan, too tough for girlfriend. Honey, Spider? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. I've got to go to the newspaper with this story. Oh, uh, don't go yet, Spider. I've really got a story. It's a sensation. Yeah? Hey. What's the big idea? Oh, I was about to make a little speech, and I don't want my audience walking out on me. Someone sent this to Miss Conrad. Any idea who it was? Don't get tough with me, Donovan. So it was you and Spider. Well, why not? We've got a lot of money tied up in you. We've got a right to protect you. but we don't know where Donovan is. He's checked out. I've been to his hotel. They thought you might know where he was. What are you wanting for? I, I, well, we quarreled yesterday, and I think I was in the wrong. I said a lot of unkind things, and I... Yeah, we thought maybe you had. Shut up, Spider. I'm afraid I wasn't quite fair. Oh. You're afraid you weren't quite fair. Well, let me tell you what you've done. You got me and Spider beat up. You cost me a million. And you wrecked the career of the swellest heavyweight prospect this country ever saw. I'm sorry. I can't take your money, Donovan. I'm sorry that Kay feels the way she does about us prize fighters, but you can't change your mind about that, I'm afraid. But this is between you and me. One leather pusher to another. You've got to get to California to save your life. Yes, I know, but... Kay wouldn't. Kay's never to know anything about it. You've got to swear to that. She knows I have no money. Where can I tell her this came from? Do you have any life insurance? Sure, but... Tell me you borrowed on your insurance. And remember, Kay's never to know where it came from. Eight pounds, is it? But your thumb on the scale like before, maybe. Ah, it's a jokey. On your own scale, it says it. Eight pounds. There's the pepper, Fritz. In the second draw, Mama. You don't hear any change dropping, do you, fella? Those are not for us.
Eight pounds it is. Huh? Yeah. Six pounds it is. Six pounds, sir. <laughs> You've got a scale that kept its mind. Eight pounds I put on. Six pounds it is, and that's what I pay for. Eight pounds you pay for. You stole two pounds. Where are they? Boom, I'm open. Oh, oh. Well, fella, you and I are square. I walk, just when my feet are killing me. Oh, how are you, man? Sorry not headed your way. But don't apologize, Cole. We can turn the bus around easy. Oh, yeah? Wait a minute. I guess you don't know who I am. Take a look at the tire cover before you start anything. I see. John L. was a pretty good man, too, in his day. Let's slap him down, boy. Thanks very much. I can't place you, but you've thrown down there with the good ones. Me? Why, no. Well, now, don't that. tell me I know a professional fighter when I see one. I'm One Punch Fagan. One Punch? Yeah. I just took it. Dickie. I don't want to be a dancer, Miss Conrad. You don't want to be a dancer? No, I want to be a prize fighter. Come here, children. And you listen, Dickie. Did any of you ever see a fight? I mean, a real one, between professionals? I have, and I've even watched one punch fake and train them over at the health resort. All right. Now, the next time you go, watch their feet. As much depends on them as upon their hands. Gee, I'm the fact. You'd better think of it, Dickie. A fighter that can't use his feet, well, he doesn't last long. You play something fast for me, I'll really show you how I can use my feet. All right, Dickie. <laughs>
far enough to know that you can use your feet. Now let's try the waltz again. Hey. Not a word from Donovan, just your own letters returned. I wouldn't do that. Keep them. But too much sun. Too much is bad for you. My lines extended in front. Keep me fast. Down. Left out straight, Davis. shooter first. All right, I'll talk to them. Why don't you get a drink and meet me later for a boxing lesson? Oh, I, I love the pots. Thank you. All right. Well, which one of you did it? Huh? Did what? We don't know what you're talking about. You know, fellas, hitting Mr. Duncan with that BB wasn't very bad. When you lie to get yourself out of a scrape, you're cheating. Cheating both yourself and your friends. I know you, you fellow climbing through the ropes for the first time. I wouldn't do anything that would make people lose faith in me. I shocked him, sir. Yeah, I know you did. Can you give a boxing lesson? Sure. That's what we came for. Okay. story on this new trainer of yours. Smith, you call him, don't you? Yeah. A nice boxer. Reminds me of myself when I was young. Now, when I give him a little more instruction, <laughs> I... Please, Bill, you slaughter me. That lad could cut you to pieces the best day ever. Shh! Of course, I know who he is. But 
day you put his name in the paper, that day he walks out on me. The boys had a bad break. Now he's coming back. Yes, but after all, I'm a reporter and oh, I... Oh, I know that, but I wouldn't hold that against you. You're decent in spite of that. Come on, watch Smith work. I get it. All right, Mr. Duncan. Just to go, huh? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> be good. Listen, Lee, the challenger for the title, is coming to Carlton to train. You think you'll beat the champ, Mr. Lee? Beat him? Sure, I'll beat him. By a knockout. Listen, mate, I got a swell idea for a build-up. Now, honey. Yeah? Get this. We'll put on some local bouts and offer a hundred dollars for anyone that can stay three rounds with Lee. Novel, eh? All these hick towns have a local chance they think can whip the world. There's a fellow named Smith working over at Fagan's health resort. I don't know how good he is, but he... We don't care how good he is. Just so he's popular. Oh, he's popular. The kids all swear by him. Besides, he's taking the bay windows off of two or three dozen of our best citizens. Well. Hello, Smith. How are things? Oh, it's fine, Mr. Duncan. Lucky, look what you've done for me. Hard as... Hit me. Uh, you better keep coming to the gym. Go on. Hit me. I mean it. Hit me. Maybe you're right. I need a little more training. That's fine, Mr. Duncan. Sure, we give the cash customers a show for their money. Let the boys pay a couple of rounds and then... Hick hope hits hay. <laughs> How's that for a headline? Boy, you crumble me. What? Shall I tell him to see you? Yeah. But don't tell him who you are or what you want because he's very shy in a publicity racket. Hick hope hits hay. All right, fella. Now you can run. Taking lady for a run, Dad. I'll be back before the doctor gets here. You go ahead. I'm all right. There's nothing I'll need. I feel fine. you come from? Why, I... Uh, you followed me here? No, I had no idea you were here. But now that you are, have you changed your mind? I'm sorry. But I still think... Paula! Lady! Smith? <laughs> 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 okay, send him in. 
The heck's here. Now, Lee, look pleasant. Sure, Slug. Because we don't want to scare the poor fellow to death before we talk to him. Come in. Hello, Slug. You send for me? No. I sent for a guy named Smith. Well, that me. What do you want? What's the matter with you, Mug? Who is this guy? Well, no hard feelings, Chopper. I'll meet Mr. Lee, the next champ. Mr. Lee, Chopper Donovan, a boy I used to handle. Smith is the name. Make it snappy. I've got a date tonight. We was looking for a guy to put on an exhibition with Lee. You know the game. Local favorite. A century if you stay three rounds. But uh, uh, you wouldn't like to have an accident happen, eh, Slug? Well, you used to be pretty good. All right, fellas. Wish you luck, Lee. Wait a minute, Chopper. Smith is the name. Well then, Smith. Get this, you mugs. This is terrific. We take on Smith just like we play. Just before the bout, it leaks out who he really is. <laughs> the suckers rush in to bet the money on him. Go on, Spider. Chopper does a flop in the third round, and we split the take four ways. Say that again, Spider. Oh, Chopper, you, you, you know I was only kidding. Smith is the name. <laughs> Smith. Sit down. I was just going to sit down anyhow. You know, the fight game is a pretty decent sport until birds like you muscle in. Wait, you. No cheap canvas kisser can talk to me like that. Hey, now. Take it easy, Lee. Uh, sorry, Chopper. Uh, Smith. Good night, Slug. How is he, Dad? Not so good. The doctor's in there looking him over. Okay. Look, Kay, why don't you let me help? I can get a good job. I wrecked your career, Hal, being so narrow-minded about fighters. Well, let's forget it. I wasn't so good. Dad's told me how good you were. Well, you might be matched with the champion now instead of Lee. Let's forget that, too. Let's start where we left off. Start all over again. Operation. Should have been done long ago. It's a job I can't do. You'll have to go to Garland in San Francisco. But I'm afraid that's impossible. We haven't any money in the expense. It won't be under a thousand dollars. Ought to be done within a month. Let me know and I'll make the arrangements. Good night. Oh, good night, Doctor. We'll find a way out. And you take a wallop and go down to the count near the end of the third. Sit down, Chopper. Now, we've got to make this look good and give the suckers a run for their money. Will you see my building? Can't roll on the line, Smith. I'm betting my wife's housekeeping money on you. Well, you know, fellas, I wouldn't put a lot of money on this thing. After all, this fellow Lee is a comer, and I'm only a... <laughs> yeah, we know. You're Smith. <laughs> Remember, I am only Hal Smith. Well, working like a charm, is Yeah, but I still don't like it. Don't like it? Why, the man don't live it can lay that lad away in three rounds. Listen, Bill, don't you realize that Cassidy knows that? He developed Chopper Donovan. Sure he knows it, but... Oh. It's a good old shakedown, Bill. Al sold out. He's going to take a dive in the third with half the money in town bet on him. Maybe you're right, Meg. But if I talk to the lad now, I may be... Uh, Don't waste your time, Bill. Put it all on Lee. The whole thing looks bad to me. Well, if 
you knew what I know, you wouldn't want to see it. What's the matter? I guess you don't know so much. Well, it ain't gonna be a fight. It's a shakedown. A shakedown? Yeah, that's when a guy takes money and pretends to be knocked out. You mean Lee's gonna do that? No, not him. You know, Smith. That fella Donovan. That's a lie. You ask Mr. Fagan, you ask Mr. Meg, that reporter, he said I don't care what anybody says. I know Hal couldn't do a thing like that. Well, just the same, he's gonna do it. <laughs> you get too poor. I'm not... Account of what you told us that time when I lied, what you said about faith, everything, about not doing anything to make people lose faith in you. double-crossing hound. Don't, Dad. Don't you understand? It was on account of you. Me? Yes. Hal was here when the doctor said you'd have to have an operation. He knew we didn't have the money. Oh, can't you see what he's done? But he hadn't done it yet, Miss Conrad. Go ahead. I'll be all right. Come on, Dickie. should have got him to furnish his second. Who says I sold out? No one has to now. If it wasn't true, you'd have sucked me before this. Be sure and watch his. Well, Chopper just came in. Good, I was afraid he's gonna run out on me. Well, if the bout was on the level, you might wish he did. Oh, yeah? If it wasn't for my bout coming up with the champ next month, I tell them not to cut loose and forget our deal. All right, my boy. But if you was as well acquainted with that gentleman as me and Snyder, you'd be. 
be mighty glad the bout was fixed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, besides, don't forget that stick you had today. <laughs> There's still time to shove Cassidy's dirty money in his teeth. You're in no condition. You'll have to take a beat. That's better than a sellout. Dickie and those kids were saying. You can't do this. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Hal. I know why you did it. And I'd rather see Father dead than have this happen. Hey, Bob. Look at this boy. He and a hundred like him have made an idol of you. Are you going to shatter that face? Your dad. My dad has been a fighter. You think he'd want his life saved with shakedown money? You've got to go in there and win. What is this, a tea party? They're waiting for you out there. All right, Slug. Tell Lee to come out fighting. The deal's off. I'm going to win if I can. Ha! Why, you dirty double-crossing... Hey, Lee! and come out fighting. Don't take any chance. Go in there and get the double cross in the first round. Remember, you ain't in position. Keep away from it. You only chance to stay on your feet for three rounds.
the bell saved him. He won't be so lucky again. I told you to get him in the first, didn't I? Now, come on, get in there and fight. Keep away from him. You can't stand that place. You heard what she said. I must win. Yeah, but you got to live, boy. You got to live. I'll get him. Come on, now. Get in there and get him. Fine, Bill. <laughs> Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Bill. You're looking fine. I'm feeling fine. Hi, Mr. Conrad. Oh, that's all right, Kay. I feel great. Have you seen Lady? Have I seen Lady? Look. <laughs> <laughs> got a great idea. Uh, we kind of thought that is, uh, well, uh, we've always known you were a great fighter, so now we've come to take you back. Pipe down, skillet head. How about it, Donovan? We can make a chance. Well, you'll have to ask my manager. Well, uh, Just a minute, Mr. Fagan. Stopped Hal's career once. Now we're going to make him a champion. Did you hear that, Mr. Cassidy? We're going to make him a champion. I'm the one that's faint. Want to read about the fight? No, I sure is. Give me the funny. Watch him get 
get beaten, but it ain't happened yet. get me besides money. Well, what do you want besides money? Sir, you're getting more publicity than that fan dancer. Here. Come on, champ. Put your back into it. You gotta get yourself into shape. guy is? Never Why, he's Slug Cassidy, ex-champion of the world. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Huh? Uh, come on, Slug. That's no place for a champion to be. Speak to me! Oh, Spider, that's right. Did a tree fall on me? calling it a day. Come on, champ. Another half hour yet. We're not tired. Yeah. Can you spare it, skillet head? Sure. Just a limb. Let me up. I'm all right. I'm a man in the ring today that can do that to me. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Sorry, forget it. Huh. My comeback days are over. Here's the next champ. It's a natural. Right. Say, Bug, we'll make you the greatest fighter in the game. Well, you can make more money in one night than you can in a whole year playing nursemaid for a bunch of pine logs. He'll slaughter them as fast as they climb through the ropes. Now, wait a minute. I don't want to slaughter anybody. Oh, not really slaughter. You know, knock them out. Like you did me a while ago. Yeah. We gotta get a name for him for publicity. Let's see, uh, the Timber Racks. Ah, oh, it's too long. Wait a minute. I got it. The Chopper. How's this for our build-up? Chopper Donovan, the man that everybody hates. That's the slogan. I'm glad I thought of it. Chopper Scout. <laughs> Boy, how they hate that guy. Yeah, 